Okay, this video is going to show you how to change elements of shapes in Tinkercad. So I'm going to drag a box in here real fast. And so I've got my box. And if we look at this, see how this is a nice clean edges. One of the things that you can do from your drop down menu of the original shape. Now you cannot, can not change shapes once you've grouped two shapes together. So you can only change original shapes. And so different things, different shapes, you can change different things on. And so this shape, we with the square, we can change the radius of our corner. So if you look at it right now, how I've got those nice clean edges, I can move my slider here for my radius which gives me a much rounder, kind of a, a Minecraft character look. Maybe you want to use this for the head. I can continue to go and I can make it even, you know, I can make it even rounder if I'd like to. So depending on what it is that I'm wanting to come up with, I can get to the point that I actually have a circle. If I want to with my, I can turn my square into a circle. So what we're doing is changing out the radius of it. Um, other things that you can do, I'm going to bring in a cylinder here. Same thing with the cylinder. I can bevel the edges, which means it's going to be rounded edges. So I've got, you know, kind of a longer type of it. I can also change. We've talked about changing the sides to make it more circular, and our segments to get it, get it rounder as well. So this I've got kind of this round. Maybe that could be an arm or a leg or something like that. Um, super important to note drag these two shapes together right and so let's just say i've got these two shapes together and then once i group those shapes together i can no longer i can no longer change the radius of the elements or any of those things so if i needed to do that i would have to ungroup them choose the individual shapes then i could uh, work with the individual shapes um, what you guys will want to do is so when i've got and I'm putting my other shapes together, say this is going to be their eyes. I want to make something nice and small so I can make it, uh, I can make everything exactly as I want. And then I will, um, so for this one, you know, if we're making solid shapes, we can make here some eyes. Maybe I want to move his eyes into here and I want to move them up a little bit. So I can put his eye right where I want it to be. I can change the color of it to make his eyes white, if that's what I wanted to do. Um, when your shapes, if you group your shapes together, it'll take the same color. So you don't want to do that. So make sure that your shapes are ungrouped to give the so that you can see the different colors of the shapes of the things that you're doing. Good luck with your avatars that you're going to begin creating will be due next week.